Hello, and in this tutorial we're going to cover how a player can customise their ships, including attaching their own logos. One thing that will set your fleet apart from all the other ships on the field is the way that you customise it to make it look the way you want. So we can do this firstly via colours. You have the full range of a primary colour that you want to select, so this will be the main colour of your ship. And then any stripes which will appear on your ship. This colour here effectively being your second colour. So you can also change the prefix for your ship's name. So the default is ANS, but you can choose up to four different characters to represent your ship. I am ANZ. And then you can set a hull badge. The game gives you a set of default hull badges that you can add to your ship, or you can make your own, which is what we're going to do now. So there are many ways to do this but this is the way that I've found without having to download anything else. Although you can use things such as Photoshop um, or even GIMP uh, and download that. However, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the channel logo and we're gonna put that as our ship logo. So the first thing we need to do, you go into Canva, I'm gonna create a design and it must be 256 by 256 pixels. If it's anything larger then the game's not gonna be able to pick up that logo and put it into its files. So, with our blank canvas, you put anything you want on it. Here, I've already done the logo. So this is the logo that we'll now use. So what we'll do is we'll download that. We now have our logo in a PNG format and the size is 256 by 256. Come across to Lunapic. We're gonna upload a file, our logo. We're then gonna go edit, transparent background. And then we're just going to select on the white space in order to set all that to transparent. There are different modes to do, um, either area or by selecting a specific color. Um, if you've got something that goes around all the edges, there's a whole bunch of other features that you can play with and it seems to give you a, a whole bunch of different options. So now that we've got our transparent background, just the circle is all we want. We'll come across to file, save image, we want to save it as a PNG and it's going to save uh, into our computer. Now I've renamed the downloaded transparent file from Lunapic as JD Logo Transparent. So now all we need to do is come across to our badges in which we follow this steam path here. And it's simply a matter of fact then of taking our transparent logo and moving it into the badges. So we shouldn't have to restart the game. We just go back into our player profile. We can select our hull badge and there we have our logo. It's a little bit uh, tattered around the edges, but that's fine. And we'll press confirm. Now that's gonna show up on our player icon. And there it is. If we come into the fleet editor and I go into initial formations, just so you can see it, there's our logo plastered onto the frigate and a battleship. Now you can put your own customized logos onto your own ships so that in those beautiful cinematic moments, you're able to tell whose ships are whose, as well as from your name uh, and your ship prefix. So whilst we're on it, you can edit the names of your ship. I'm sure most of you have found this. The prefix is from the player profile. So you can call your ship whatever you want. Or you can generate a name along a pattern so these are the patterns if you do, uh, you can either turn them on or off and just generate a name you can also give it a call sign which which will appear for you but not for anyone else and the hull number so the hull numbers are specific to the hulls this one is the uh, battleship designation if we look at a frigate it's going to have different hull numbers so we have now updated our name it's also got our call sign and the call signs attached to the unit card, which in game is going to be shown on the, uh, on the ship's card. So that ends the end of this tutorial. You should now be able to add your own custom logos, um, as well as change all the other settings to customize your fleet. So it looks the way you want it on the battlefield and for those glorious cinematic shots.